Kim Wexler was Better Call Saul's answer to Breaking Bad's most polarizing character, Skylar White, and the comparison between the two made me appreciate Skylar more. Once Better Call Saul settled into its premise, Kim took on the same role that Skylar played in Breaking Bad. In Breaking Bad, when Skylar finally became aware of her husband's secret double life as a drug kingpin, she became the show's moral compass. In Better Call Saul, Kim played the same role in Jimmy McGill's life as he slipped further and further into the criminal side of criminal law. The Skylar hate amongst the Breaking Bad fanbase always struck me as misogynistic. It follows an ugly pattern of audiences celebrating their murderous male anti-hero while despising the female love interest who questions the morality of his actions. Breaking Bad fans had no problem with all of Walter White's killing, but they were up in arms the moment Skylar expressed second thoughts about his meth empire. Barry fans had no problem with Barry Berkman being a professional assassin, but they hated his girlfriend Sally for pointing out his toxicity. Better Call Saul made me appreciate Skylar even more. Better Call Saul's Kim Wexler was the opposite of Breaking Bad Skylar White. Whereas Skylar was horrified by Walt's crimes, Kim is intrigued by Jimmy's. As the character arcs progressed in Better Call Saul, Kim went down the exact opposite path to the one Skylar went down in Breaking Bad. In Breaking Bad, Skylar was never on board with Walt's meth business. Initially, she trusted that he knew what he was doing and that he would only sell drugs for as long as it took to earn the money he needed to pay off the family's debts and cover his own cancer treatments. But when he kept piling up cash long after that figure had been met, Skylar was dead against Walt's life of crime. Kim went the other way. When Jimmy first started bending the rules to keep his clients out of jail, Kim immediately expressed reservations. When Jimmy kept breaking the law, Kim decided she wouldn't stop him from doing what he was doing, but she didn't want to hear about it so she wouldn't be legally liable. But as time went on and Jimmy's schemes got more elaborate, Kim eventually became enticed by the thrill of rule bending. Kim famously broke bad in the final season as she and Jimmy teamed up to ruin Howard's life and ended up going way too far. Kim breaking bad in Better Call Saul confirmed how natural Skylar's behavior was. Kim made Skylar look normal by comparison. Kim saying goodbye to Jimmy in Better Call Saul. Throughout Kim's arc in Better Call Saul, the show always made it clear that the way Kim perceived Jimmy's schemes was not normal. She enjoyed the thrill of the cons as much as he did, which is why they were bad for each other. This doesn't make Skylar worse in hindsight, it actually highlights how natural her behavior was. When she found out her husband was the meth king of Albuquerque, she wasn't excited, like Kim in Better Call Saul or Karen Hill in Goodfellas, she was horrified, and that's the right way to respond. Jimmy and Kim encouraged each other to keep taking the schemes further and keep conning their targets out of more and more. For them, scamming people was an expression of love, but the show never treated that as a normal, healthy relationship. Eventually, they were going to take things too far and get a reality check, and that happened in the bleakest way possible when they unwittingly got Howard murdered right in front of them. This made Kim finally realize how far gone she was, and how bad she and Jimmy were for each other. Kim came to the same realization that Skylar eventually came to, that she's in a toxic relationship and needs to get out. The only difference is that Skylar didn't have to get one of her colleagues killed to come to that realization. Skylar knew from the get-go that Walt's life of crime could only end in tragedy, and she was called an annoying nag for trying to point that out before it was too late. Jimmy and Kim's story was completely different from Walter and Skylar's. Jimmy and Kim had an actual love story, Skylar was essentially Walt's prisoner. Jimmy and Kim sharing a cigarette during the Better Call Saul series finale. While there are similarities between Kim and Skylar as characters, their respective relationship arcs were completely different. Jimmy and Kim had an actual love story, they fell for each other, they bonded over their shared love of classic cinema and the art of the con, and their eventual breakup was devastating. Skylar, on the other hand, was essentially Walt's prisoner. If there was ever a time when they truly loved each other, it was long before the events of Breaking Bad. They were miserable in the pilot episode and it only went downhill from there. After seeing how monstrous her husband had become, Skylar desperately wanted to get out of the marriage, but Walt ruthlessly manipulated her into staying with him. As soon as Kim wanted to leave, as heartbroken as Jimmy was, he let her leave. But when Skylar wanted to leave, Walt forced his way back into the house and blackmailed her into letting him stay. Jimmy and Kim's relationship was toxic because they egged each other on to do unscrupulous things, but Walt and Skylar's relationship was toxic because of a hideous cycle of emotional abuse. Kim and Skylar are two of the Breaking Bad universe's best characters. 
Kim and Skylar are both three-dimensional, human characters. Skylar grabs the knife in the Ozymandias episode of Breaking Bad. Kim and Skylar are two of the greatest characters in the Breaking Bad universe. While I can't imagine anyone would argue that Kim is one of this franchise's best characters, I could see some pushback on putting Skylar in the same category. But they're great characters for the same broad strokes reason, they're both three-dimensional human beings. Gus Fring and Mike Ehrmantraut and Huel Babineau are all terrific characters that exist in the pulpy genre world, but Kim and Skylar feel like real people with real flaws and real vulnerabilities. It's easy to see how Kim got swept up in the thrill of Jimmy's cons, his elaborate schemes do look like a lot of fun, and it's easy to see why she felt the need to take drastic measures and completely reinvent her life after those cons cost one of her closest colleagues his life. And this Better Call Saul arc reminded me why Skylar was always against Walt in Breaking Bad, she similarly felt the need to take drastic measures after being traumatized. If fans can love Kim, then it's time they finally forgave Skylar.